two fighters should be a good one. I'm Todd Grisham, and here with me, my broadcast colleague, it's Johnny Nelson. You tried to give me the slip, didn't you, my friend? There was no way I was going to miss this. And now it's time for our tale of the tape. He is Rocky Marciano. He's five foot ten inches tall, one of the greatest heavyweights to ever live, undefeated. And facing him, Riddick Bowe, six foot five, 240 pounds, with a reach of 81 inches. There's an amazing reach advantage, which you do not actually realize is there until you get popped by that jab. The distance that's great is ridiculous. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing. In the red corner, here is a Hall of Fame legend from Brockton, Massachusetts, a Ring Magazine world champion, and an undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, the Brockton blockbuster, Rocky Marciano. Fighting out of the blue corner from Brooklyn, New York. You can tell both of these fighters are exuding confidence as they touch gloves. And here we go. Todd, I'm going to stay here till the end of the night because if you're a fight fan... We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. <laughs> Swing and a miss with the hook. <laughs> and he wasn't ready for that counterpunch. <laughs> That right hook catching air. I'd like to see someone use a jab here to establish a boxing presence, but no, they just want to fight. After so much pre-hype fight social media, are we about to witness history? The great... Oh, do you believe this? Rocky Marciano is down! You see many shots like that. A simple, simple short shot. Put the fighter down. Five, six, seven, eight. Come to me. We're at the halfway point, there's no doubt who's won this round so far. So the referee says he can continue, but how much more does he have left? That resilience to be down and to be back up again, to get yourself back into fight again, to show your fitness and determination, maximum respect. Got to look at his corner, look for the instructions, they're telling him to calm down, make the most of the count, get up, breathe and move, get behind the referee, save yourself a bit of time. You just need to make your way back to the corner, somehow get to the end of the round. Every time he throws a punch, a receipt is coming right back. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really strong. Let's see how the game plan changes after that big knockdown. Can make or break a fighter. He's nearly down. This kid ain't got no gas in the tank no more. You, you're so mad. He's gone. I'm telling you, he's gone. Jump all yeah, That's what I'm talking about. Are you breaking this kid's will? Body and head. Be smart. Change your angle. Go out there and finish him. He's ready. You, you're so close, kid. Come on. Bang him downstairs. Jab. Jab. That's what I'm talking about. Marciano with one of the best right hands in boxing history. If he catches you flush, it's good night. They couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. It's not going to happen. He's got to hustle, man. He's got he's to bluff him. Caution is being thrown to the wind. And Bo is dazed. Oh, what a shot. He's staggered. He's staggered. Does he know? Does he know he's even gone? And it appears the onslaught is over, at least for now. Being dazed now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. Get caught sleeping on the job. What do you do? You step back. Steady yourself. Recompose yourself. Then boom, back into it. But do not make those mistakes. This is the wrong place to fall asleep. Shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful. Marciano fighting to survive. He's never been knocked out. Oh, I heard that never by. I saw it. 
<coughs> it appears he weathered the storm. How? I'm not sure. Now they've got to wait up. They've got to get on the back foot, clear the head a little bit, then jump back into it again. It's all about the hustle. Get back on it. Nice counter. <coughs> Insane action. <coughs> That counter shot lands. Are we witnessing one of the all time greats go down? Bambi legs are kicking in. Let's look at those legs. The legs have gone. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Well done with that counter shot. And a round that seemed like an eternity for them finally comes to a close. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're getting it. Kitchen sink. So just keep him on the end of his jab. Well, you stay focused now. But start just sticking a few body shots in there a little bit. Just vary it up a little bit so he can't figure it out. For one shot at a time, set him up. But you'll take him out. He's too tired. He's not getting back up. Just keep him on the end of your jab. You're getting your timing already, that rust. Don't let him back into the fight. Don't give him no free shots. Keep smart. A few body shots in there. Bury it up. Great work. You can't miss him. Great work. Stay focused. Don't let him back into the fight. Just keep doing what you're doing. The gaps will appear. Keep there for one shot at a time. Set him up, but you'll take him out. And that'll do it for the time between rounds as we get set to get back in the action. Think about the thief. Gotta be smart. Otherwise, they'll see it and they'll ride it out. Go out there and finish him. They're fighting a swarmer, and you know their goal is to bury their head right in your chest. The uppercut would probably come in handy. A swarmer, a good swarmer, will get inside your bucket like a big. And Big Daddy Bo got rocked. He's days. Where should he look? What should he do? Should he run? Should he? Should he try and hold on? Didn't wait long to get back and get engaged. It's been a tough round so far. It's been a tough, tough round. What did they do? What did they tell him when he goes back to the corner? How are they going to get through this? Defense, defense, defense is everything because they got shot once. They know they can get caught again. So for now, just defense. Work on defense. Blocking and stopping and shooting. The jab doesn't quite connect. With the halfway point, and both of these fighters know the round is still up for grabs. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Very close match. He shows Show us something, Rocky. So he's up in the corner, has the white towel. Are they going to throw it and stop this fight? He's got to waste time. Get a step behind the referee. When he comes in close, tie him up. The Total domination with 10 seconds to go. Good counter punch. He's been knocked down, but at least not knocked out yet. I love the response, though. Got back up, took a deep breath and thought, right. Brush it off. Get on with the job. Great round. Great round. Now, relax. Relax. So just keep him on the end. Great work. Don't be looking at for one shot at a... I said, start just sticking a few body shots in there a little bit. Just vary it up a little bit. So you're getting back up. You're doing good, kid. You're doing good. Same again. Don't change too much. Keep doing what you're doing. The gaps will appear. It will work out. Where you was thinking. You was... They ring the bell, and here we go. His eyes look pretty clear here, Johnny. How do you think he's going to do after being knocked down? Clearly, his opponent was too much for him, and he's thrown in the towel. So they will throw in the towel. The corner has stopped it. They won't be happy about that, but say la vie. They don't like that. Listen to that. Oh, listen to that. When he gets back to the gym, his team is going to give him hellfire. This is what you work on as a fighter.